Welcome to another day of UK gorgeous weather. Hello you guys, nice to check in with you and again just wanted to check up about this abomination that occurred yesterday, this so-called live with the armchair detective having her friend of the what's in. I hope you all know by now that again, it was another armchair scam, just like Dr. B, just like another insider, just like inside information, just like he has the, the truth about the sealed discovery files, just like he has someone who works at Dodge Correctional, blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. And it's always funny, isn't it? There's always someone kind of twinkly, twinkly, blinky, blonky on a keyboard, almost in the same room as him when he has these mysterious guests live that never show their faces. Ooh, I wonder what could be going on. Anyway, we all know now that this friend, Shannon, has turned up all over the web in various different guises. Um, and has written about that and we pretty much know that that was another scam by the armchair detective now when you say and i'm sure this is going to happen that armchair detective's next move in my opinion is going to be oh well i just didn't know she was a scam artist so, you know i didn't know um and we're going to hear the sob story but you know all these people hating me and trolls and hating and trolls and hating their hate channels their their hate channels are trying to bring me down trying to bring me down and i just want justice for for shenan and, and they're trying to bring me down and all these hate channels you know come with me come with me pay and buy patreon patreon you can only buy it on patreon bully um troll, troll um bring me down bully patreon pay five bucks that's what's happening now in my opinion he's getting more and more desperate i mean my god there's one intro to one video by the other time the other live is coming up this is a person who is worried and so you should be in my opinion alan Vin viniscum i can't stop saying it that way now uh so we all know that that was a lie and he was responsible because you're responsible for everything that you have on your channel he doesn't have a team that's duping him in my opinion the armchair detective is duping you and to quote some words that we might know well if he's lying about that what else is he lying about and we can be all frivolous and fun and and act like you know oh it's me against you you against me because that's what he incites oh one group this one group me 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 yeah they're against me they're against me fight with me fight with me and you know who does that you know it's funny you know who sort of doth protest too much you've got to believe me you've got to believe me oh, i'm not going anywhere until you believe me i'm not going to show this person's face because you don't believe me you don't believe me so i'm not going to show this guest's face because you know i don't want the hate and the hate and the trolls and the hate <laughs> it's people who are lying in my opinion you know those people that scam women from abroad and you've got to believe me darling you know I need this money sent here because I know this and this and how could you say that I'm not real? How could you say that I'm not real and destroy our relationship? Join me, join me. In my opinion, it's the same thing. What's the difference? What's the difference? You've got someone blatantly goading you into joining his Patreon account and paying money to see him, in my opinion. And it would be funny, but it's not funny anymore. And you know why? Because this person, in my opinion, now needs to be brought into the legal hands for terrorizing the family of four dead people, which he is. And if you look online at Frankie Rusek's replies, the hurt and the pain that the armchair detective has caused the Rusek family now has gone beyond funny. It's very, very serious. And now there should be a claim, in my opinion, against the armchair detective for terrorizing, for counterfeit, and for cyberbullying and duping people online, in my opinion. So if you still feel like this person is someone that you want to support, I suggest you ask yourself why. Why would you want to do that when someone has blatantly asked him to stop? So just ask yourself that question. And then let's move on and trying to get people like that rat off of YouTube, in my opinion.